Wagwan people. Cool in the Ross out ya. Anyways, making this quick one called doing business with family members. This is just my experience, but you know that old saying says it's never good to do business with family members. Well, I'm gonna tell you my bad experience I had. Like I said, me and my brother used to have a handyman company. I don't know if I talked about this, but going more details. We used to have a handyman company. So basically, since I was working my regular job and doing that part time, and this and doing the business was his full time, I was like, all right, dude. Since he's gonna be finding all the contracts and all that shit, basically doing the administration work and shit like that. I was basically doing all the payroll. Um, basically, I was just the financing. I was doing all the finance part. Simple as that. So what I was doing, like if we got a contract and we got paid and after we paid employees and all that shit. So let's say we made like five grand. Since he wasn't working, I'd be like, look, you take three. If we made five grand, I'll say, look, you take three grand and I'll take two. I mean, I think that's fair. Because everybody plays a role when you have a business, especially as a family. And it was just me and my brother anyway, me and my older brother. So anyways... As we're doing that, everything was good. Yeah, we're making money and shit, but my older brother started getting greedy and shit. He started, well, I'm doing all this contract, find the contract, this and that. But I was like, dude, without the money, none of this shit would even start. If I didn't finance none of this shit, we wouldn't even be here. So, motherfucker started getting his feelings and shit. And he just stopped doing it. So, it was like, damn. So, it's like that. I was like, all right, cool. I mean, ain't no hard feeling if that's how you feel. Shit, but I mean, I ain't gonna bow down no bitch. Bow down like no bitch. So it's like, okay, if that's what you wanna do. That's cool. We ain't gotta do the shit no more. But the good thing about it is that I learned basically how to start a business, what to do to get clients, and all that shit. So I mean, it was a good experience, even though it ended it bad. I still fucking learned some shit more about business you know getting a business license all that other good shit that you need to get you gotta go to county start a business do a llc that's why these rich fuckers don't pay so much in taxes because when you get the llc limited liability i think it's core um company or corporate corporate some shit but basically it's good to get an llc because basically it's limited liability so if anything goes down They'll sue your company and not you. So any assets you have, you will keep it. They'll just sue for whatever your company has. And that's how these rich fuckers get away with paying cheap-ass taxes. Because everything is a write-off in their business. So that's why they always tell you it's good to start a business. Start a business anything. Anyways, I got to start mine back up. Well, start another business I need to do. But, yeah, that was just my quick experience on doing business with family. I mean, it could, it could be a good experience for some. It could work out. Y'all could be blown up and get, like, popping real big. Like, y'all could actually do good together. But, I mean, sometimes shit just don't work out. But remember, everything in life is a fucking learning experience. So, I can't feel bad about it. I learned some shit. But I'm going to holler at y'all. Keep pushing. Peace.